why don't you tell us what cinematic is to you? First of all, that's a very simple question with a very complex answer. Yeah. And it's also a very individual answer. And here's my point is I had to think when you asked that question, I had to think for a while and, you know, after a while and thinking of the movies I like and everything, I came up with my own theory of what cinematic is. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting after I was pretty, you know, we'll say pretty um, co confident. I'm pretty confident in my idea of cinematic. Mm -hmm. I looked on the internet and I also asked some friends on the internet. When you look up cinematic, there's people with videos saying, you know, it's great lighting, it's mood, it's having the right camera, the depth of field. And I was like, okay, I get it, what you're saying, but that's, we call that cinematography. Yeah. That is not definitely, that's not necessarily cinematic. That's a part of it, but not exactly it. And you'll see so many videos that sort of describe cinematic as that. And then I asked some friends. I asked a friend who's a illustrator who wrote video games and uh, he's a screenwriter and he said you know what it's um and he he said you know it's like blade runner it's something that has it has to have scope right mm. it has to be big and have scope and i said what about blue velvet what about barton fink mm. you know so so he's like well it's an individual and then he said it's an individual's preference you know, and it's all a director has a distinct point of view. And I asked some DPs that, and one DP who loves soundtracks, he's like, oh, it's got to have that great soundtrack, right? That gives me a feeling, creates a feeling. None of them are wrong, but I think they all pick at pieces of what is cinematic. So for me, I kind of pulled, uh, if you will, I went to Star Trek, I pulled this uh, Kobayashi Maru thing right there's a it's a no-win situation if you if you get my drift you know star trek wrath of Khan, right it's the kobayashi maru sir you are looking at the only starfleet cadet who ever beat the no-win scenario how i was changed the question and say define what is a cinematic experience uh, okay right and there we start to get into what is cinematic <clears throat> because the experience means it can be on different levels it can be different for you than it can be for me. We can have a general consensus, but it's going to be beauty in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is, yes, it is lighting, framing. It is the lens you use, right? It is movement. That's one section of it. It is performance. It is music. It is sound design, which is huge. You know, I think of something like a racer head. Mm -hmm. um, it's... Uh, it combined, but even more than that, it is, you, if I back up and say what David Lynch has this great quote where he talks about painting is action and then reacting, right? We react to the paint, a painter reacts to the painting and he paints again. A reader, you read a book, you react, you create it in your mind, you go back to the book. Those are singular sort of experiences, but when you add the cinematic experience, it is an experience shared by more than one person, but there's an interesting caveat to this as well. So where cinema, what cinema does is it basically, it captures the ephemeral between memories and dreams, right? Mm -hmm. It's that moment captured in time. So in my mind, it's not only how you present it, but how we as an individual react to that presentation. And I'll tell you a story at the end that that illustrates this, but it can be. So here's a great example. If you and you don't have to. This is what almost defines the difference between TV and film, because I can go into a film. I can go into a movie and I can see it alone. I don't have to be with other people. I'm not saying that cinematic experience has to be experienced uh, as a group. Right. That's not what I'm defining. I'm and I'm not defining it by the style of filmmaking. What I'm saying is. Do I get an emotional reaction? And then there's a, there's a level, there's a range of emotional reactions so that I feel like if you have a greater emotional reaction to a thing, um, it becomes a greater cinematic experience. So if I'm alone in a movie theater, I may not know anyone else in that movie theater, but if that movie speaks to me, I, and it's, this is why it's so hard to articulate and give an answer to that question, that I still, I have a cinematic experience subconsciously almost with the other people in that theater if that makes sense yeah and you can not that you can't have that in tv so this argument of 
theater versus TV. What I'm saying is that the experience may not be as great. You can still have a cinematic, it still can be cinematic on TV, like a book can be cinematic in your mind, mm -hmm. but that experience is going to be very different than if I were sitting in the theater, maybe not knowing anyone, but watching a movie. And here's the example I'll give. When I first moved to, to LA, I didn't know anyone, I was alone. I, uh, there were, at the Sunset Five, they were playing Lost Highway. And I went into Lost Highway and I'm going into the movie theater alone and it's a small theater, so there weren't a lot of people. And it was daytime when I went in there and I saw that movie and it spoke to me like no other movie. It was the cinematography, the distinct point of view of the filmmaker, the sound design of it, the soundtrack, the experience, but also underlying that in this movie theater at the Sunset Five, experienced it and other people were there. And then coming out, when I came out of that theater, the sun had set, it was dark. Just like that movie is very dark. You know, the movie kind of goes from a bright light to, to dark. That combination of sort of those memories and dreams and that moment caught in time, to me, that was cinematic. But it was that experience I had was a cinematic experience. Walking out of the theater, you were still in a cinematic experience? I was still in a cinematic experience. And I, and I think that experience can be at different levels. Hmm. So not that a, a TV show can't be cinematic, it can, but I would say that would be the argument for, I know someone, one of your examples was 35 millimeter. I disagree with that. Hmm. I think, you know, someone else could see Inland Empire on video at home and have a cinematic experience. Now, will it be the same? It may be different for them, but I do believe that in the cinema, in this, what we call this sort of subconscious connect, connectivity that happens in the cinema that no one can really articulate in a, in a, um, in a very uh, factual way. Like no one can measure that. It's a feeling. And that's why this is so hard. It's a feeling. I think it's greater when you're in the cinema.